Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Stephen Lindner. Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology 2. Um, what I'd like to do in this video is kind of give you a flow of the course, let you know what your responsibilities are, what you could expect of me. So please make the time to watch this video from beginning to end so that um, you don't have as many questions or uncertainties and you don't feel lost. I want everyone to feel comfortable in my course, know exactly where everything can be found and what you need to do every single week to be successful in the course. So right off the bat, uh, if you click on the left-hand side where it says meet the instructor, it takes you to this uh, handsome individual right here, gives you a little bit of background to myself, um, it has my email address, uh, the office hours if you need to contact me, uh, when we do the Kaiser Lives, I typically do them Monday evenings from 8.30, to 9.30, sometimes I go till 10, depending on the information. Um, instructors are only required to do an hour, but I like to give my students their money's worth, so sometimes I go a little bit above and beyond. It's not a requirement for you to attend the Kaiser Lives. I do them, and I record them, and I'll send them out to the entire class as well. You can also find them on my YouTube channel. That's Nutrition Cairo Doc. Nutrition Cairo, C H I R O, doc, D O C dot com. So you can make the time to review some of this information about me. It's good to know about your instructor. Then when we click on the next tab, which is here on the left, getting started, you're going to focus really on this section, getting started week one, two, three, four, just like you did with anatomy and physiology one. Many of you have had me for one already, uh, so you know the flow. But if you haven't, you click on Get Started and just want you to get comfortable with what's here. Make sure you do have the required uh, books and information that you need. Here is the uh, textbook that you'll need or the ebook. And you'll also use this bundle, not only Saladin, but you'll be using the uh, Connect McGraw Hill. Uh, for the lab portion. So make sure you, you get that bundle with the connect lab access, which gives you the code that you'll enter for the McGraw Hill weekly lab quizzes. Um, here's the course certification. Make sure you do the required pre-test in week one, and then in week four, the post test. Uh, the post-test is worth, I think, 5% of your overall grade. So plugging in a zero, if you don't do that, will hurt. So please make the time to do that. Uh, hey, Dr. Lindner, I'm having some trouble on uh, with McGraw-Hill. What do I do? Here's with the labs. Um, I can be of some assistance, but really, if it's a technical glitch, here's the 800 tech support. They are very quick, very responsive. They'll give you a ticket number. Uh, so the Groy Hill Connect is for the lab portion and the Kaiser tech support information uh, you can find here. Okay, introduce yourself to the class. Click on that, do that as well. Here are some tips on how to earn an A in the course. And here's the Kaiser library link. Here's our ally information. And if you have questions, ask questions. Uh, I subscribe to that uh, discussion board and I'll reply there. Okay, um, so that's pretty much the get started information. Um, after you do the get started information, then we'll click on, uh, let's go to, uh, let's see, week one, right? So when you click on week one, now we're getting into the content. What do we have to do? So in week one, you can see by the picture and what's on top here, it looks like the brain. It's pretty much all neurology. Um, here are the activities that you'll be doing each week. It tells you the chapters to review in the book. Um, don't forget there's uh, the lab quiz that you'll be doing from McGraw Hill. It says that it's about uh, three hours of time. Everything is due on Sunday nights. Um, all of the discussion board work, your lockdown browser exam, 
and the McGraw-Hill quiz are all due just before midnight, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's every single week. Um, I'll go through the discussion board in a second. Here's the lockdown browser exam. Make sure from AMP1 you have the lockdown browser link uh, downloaded so that you can take the exam. There is no uh, password required for that unless, of course, you're trying to open it outside of the lockdown browser. Okay, here's the Blackboard support number if you're having any glitches. And then extra credit. Uh, there is extra credit. It's through the uh, McGraw Hill Connect. Um, you'll, I'll show you where that is. And if you choose to do it, again, it's due Sunday, uh, just before midnight at the end of each week. And the extra credit kind of helps you learn the content for lecture lab stuff. Um, if you want to download any of the PowerPoints, you can find them under the week one materials. Okay, here's the week one McGraw-Hill Connect Lab. You'll have the same thing for week two, week three, week four. So when you click on that, especially for the first week, you'll see that there's a few things that you'll see uh, here. Um, let me close this one out. So this shows you what it looks like after it's opened. Um, the things that you'll be looking for specifically is what you see on the right. You know, week one for the quiz, the week two, week three and week four. So week one is on the neural system. Week two is on the cardiovascular and respiratory system. Week three is lymphatic and urinary. Week four is digestive. Now keep in mind, I can only cover, cover so much in an hour um, on my, Kaiser Lives on Monday evenings. What I do for my students is I'll send out announcement messages regarding the Connect quizzes, which have pictures that you can study from older quizzes. And it really will help you, especially if you study the picture, you look at the distractors and you know where the distractors are as well. That's a really good study uh, technique for that. So be on the lookout for several announcement messages that come from me. Check the announcement board every single week. Um, I send them out as emails as well. Um, otherwise, you can go on the left-hand side where it says announcements. You'll click on that and find them there. Okay, otherwise hit the McGroy Hill link right here. You'll click on that and it'll say, go to my connect section. This is your connect section. When you click on that, this is where your options open up and you will see right here, week one, two, three, four, the graded quiz. When you click on that, you'll open it up. I don't wanna click on it and open it, but you'll hit that for week one, two, three, and four during the week. You cannot actually work ahead. You can work ahead. I've had some students that use the two week, uh, the two free week trial because they were having financial issues, completed all four of these quizzes in two weeks time. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Here's the optional extra credit. Again, week one, week two, week three, week four. Um, and there are due dates. Once the due date is expired, it cannot be reopened. These settings are through the publisher. So uh, whenever you take a lab quiz or you do the extra credit, um, unlike taking the lockdown browser, when you do the lockdown browser exam and you finish with the grade, the grade posts right away. These, I have to manually enter. I take them from the McGraw Hill. I see your grade and I put it in the Blackboard grade book. And that's typically done by Monday morning, late Sunday night, early Monday morning, okay? So if you take it and you don't see your quiz grade right away, um, don't, don't get anxious about that. Off to the right, here's the ebook. Here's an atlas for anatomy and phys. And then here's what's called the APR, the Anatomy and Physiology Revealed. APR stands for Anatomy and Physiology Revealed. This is like a dissection tool. It's really neat for students. If you click on it, there's an index. You can type in the chapter. You can type in the, ana the anatomical structure that you wanna see. So that's where you'll find all that information. Okay, so again, that's every week. Let me close that out. Um, let's go back to, uh, let's go back to 
just want you to see even in week two, week two, we're doing different material, heart, blood, respiratory, you see by the pictures. But again, as you scroll down, the same formatting of what needs to be done, what chapters, again, the discussion board, the exam, extra credit, same things every single week. Here's the materials. Here's how you would access the week two quiz. Here's the week two discussion board. And then here's the week two lockdown browser exam. Same stuff each week. Question comes up often about the discussion board. What's the format? How do we do it? So each week you'll see, let me go back to week one for a second. And let's just look at some of the discussion board topics. Um, each student will select a topic in advance. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, we're on the discussion board. Each student will pick a discussion topic. Here we go. Um, there are no duplicates. So you claim your topic. You go on the discussion board and you will say, um, I'm going to do, um, I don't know, section 14.5. Um, uh, how about I'm doing, I'm going to claim section 14.4, question 21. So I'm going to claim that topic. I'm actually going to write it out. Section 14.4, question 21. It's claimed. That means I'm answering that question. No one else in the class can do it. It's claimed. Then someone else goes, okay, I'm going to claim, uh, I find this interesting. I want to know what dermatomes are of spinal nerves. So uh, Jane Doe is section 13.2, question 11. You write that out, that's your topic. Now, after so-and-so posts this, I can do a reply to that. I can go, wow, I've learned so much about dermatomes. Thank you so much. Um, I've also discovered that shingles can affect a dermatome of the face following the trigeminal nerve. Or now I understand when I go to my chiropractor and he takes the pinwheel and does a neurological exam on me, what dermatomes are. And here's a picture that shows the C5 dermatome or the C6 dermatome. Or when I hurt my lower back and I subluxated myself, my L4 nerve root got pinched. And here was the dermatome affected. And not only dermatomes, but he was the reflex effect, right? So it can lead to another discussion where you teach your classmates something and here's what they need to look like. So here's the student. This is from another class. Uh, they answered question number 24. So they posted that question 24. Uh, this is from Anatomy and Physiology 1. The, this was the topic that they chose. And you'll see that there's always a research portion. And then there's a critical thinking portion. If you don't label each of these, you're not gonna be able to earn full credit on the discussion board. It's very straightforward, very simple. You'll post your research that you did here. You'll then apply your own critical thoughts to that here, and then you'll include your word count. So each week, each post requires a word count. The main post is a lot more than the additional replies to your classmates, often a little bit less. The word count goes before, the word count goes before your references. And each of these is part of the rubric. If you forget your references, there's points deducted. If you don't do the critical thinking or critical thinking was weak and needs more work, you get partial. Um, if the APA, if the formatting is off, there's some deduction. So this is a really good flow and then you'll see like a classmate here did a response. They addressed their classmate, they did a little bit of research, they did a little critical thinking, there's their word count and here's the references, okay? Every week, that's what you'll do. Uh, there's three posts that are required on three separate days. I suggest that maybe a student post on Monday, and then they post on Wednesday, and then they post on Friday. And they use the weekend to kind of do a little bit of studying. Um, they post on Monday, they read their other classes work on Tuesday, they formulate a response, they post it Wednesday. Then they read other work and they post another response on Friday. So your discussion board work is done 
And then on Saturday and Sunday, you can do your quizzes and exam. Just a suggestion, not a requirement. Um, on Mondays, you heard me say Mondays, I typically do my Kaiser Live sessions. So when you click the Kaiser Live link here on the left-hand side, this opens up. It tells you my sessions are 8.30 to 9.30-ish. If you can stay for a little bit, great. If you can not show up, it's not going to harm you. Um, you would click on this link right here, Blackboard Collaborative Live Session. And when you do, um, this will open up and it takes you to a bunch of links. So here's my week one that will open up and you can uh, join the class there. If you miss it and you want to find out um, where the recorded sessions are, you click these three bars up here and you just go to recordings and you'll find the recordings there. Or you can go to my YouTube channel and you'll find it there as well. Nutrition Cairo doc. Um, here is, let's see, what is this? This is probably week, uh, that's week one, which we did just to show you. Now we're at week three. Again, same flow, nothing new. Uh, here we're doing immune and lymphatic system and urinary system. And it's a lot to cover. So I'm gonna cover what I feel is probably the most important in that hour and you'll explore some other videos. You'll look at the announcement messages that I send for the Connect quiz to give you some hints and pictures and how to prepare and study. Uh, these are the chapters. Here's what you can do if you wanna do the APR. Uh, here's the McGraw-Hill quiz. Here's the discussion. Again, same thing. And here's your exam and extra credit just to show you the flow, but you'll find everything underneath the materials Here's the week three McGraw-Hill quiz link. Again, week one, you're doing the neural system. Week two, cardiovascular and respiratory. Week three is lymphatic and urinary. Week four is digestive. Uh, here are the discussion topics. Again, claim your topic first. See what your classmates have claimed. If it's already picked, pick something else because the purpose of it is to teach your classmates a topic. You don't wanna reteach something that's already been done but you can comment on something. It may not be your main post, but you'll obviously comment on and add additional information to your class works, works work so that everyone can learn. Um, there's no late submissions after midnight. It shuts down and I actually start the grading. I'm up late doing my grading. Um, so um, make sure that these are done in a timely manner. So these are the topics you may find it interesting. Oh, I want to post on um, antibodies or I want to comment on edema. Oh, my grandma had edema of her ankles. I want to comment on that. Maybe talk about diuretics and certain medications. You have a lot of freedom there. Here's the lockdown. Here's your extra credit again. Each week, there's the opportunity to do it. Now, if you do the extra credit, let's say you get 100 on all of them, you earn two points on your final average. So if you had an 88 average, which is a B, you earned the two points, you boosted yourself up to an A. Whatever the grade is in Blackboard is the grade uh, that you earn, okay? Um, so that's week three. And then week four, the only reason why I'm pointing week four out is I don't want students to miss. Again, it's the same things, discussion board, the connect quiz and um, the lockdown browser. But on week four, remember week one had the pre-test, week four has a post test and it's going to measure like an outcome measurement, what information you knew when you started, what you knew now, what you now know at the end when you finish. Okay, so that is the flow of anatomy and physiology too. Um, hopefully you feel more comfortable uh, with the course. Again, three requirements to summarize every week. There's your lockdown browser exam, your McGraw-Hill Connect quiz, and your three discussion board posts on three separate days with your critical thinking, your, your research clearly labeled, the word count, and then your references and if you choose to, you have the extra credit. Monday nights, that's when I have the Kaiser Live. I will record them. You'll find them on my YouTube channel as well as under the Kaiser Live link. It's not a requirement, but I'm there. Um, thank you for making the time to listen. Um, and I hope that this makes your life easier. I really uh, 
root for all of my students to strive and to do as well as they can. I try and give you uh, as many tools and tips and videos to help my students. Sometimes you'll see my responses on the discussion board. Sometimes I know not everyone reads everything, so I may find a discussion board topic interesting, then I'll send my reply to an announcement message for the whole class to see. Okay, everyone, uh, thanks for your time. And um, I wish you all the very best in your academic journey, my course and moving forward uh, at the university.